So why is Outriders so difficult? Because you suck. I'm just kidding. There actually is some real kind of mechanics to this game and it's supposed to be challenging, but I wanted to talk about it and kind of go in depth with you guys so that you could probably find the game a little bit more comfortable, a little bit easier when you go through it, knowing this information. So if you want to hit the like button, comment, all that stuff, it helps my channel out, but you don't have to, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So first and foremost, let's look at the world tier. So I'm currently on world tier 10. That means my enemy level is plus seven. So whatever level I am, my enemies will be seven levels above me. Dropped items, plus seven, two, and then some rarity stuff. Wearable item level cap for myself is plus seven as well. Now this obviously also ties into, you know, your actual level. I am currently level 21, which means my enemies are gonna be level 29 and the wearable items that I can wear can go up to level 29. Now this is kind of where the game changes so i am using any kind of loot that i get on a regular basis i equip them and i put the mods on that i want them at and then this is the important part so you can see that my legendary helmet here is level 26 now the maximum i can put on is level 29 the disparity between your levels and what level you are and what will tell you are is going to be extremely noticeable especially when you just tick over into a new world tier because obviously when you go into a new world tier everything gets a little bit harder anyway so what's happening is is you are using old weapons that are not your current level and current firepower capability and old armors which aren't your current highest armor rating they can be which means you are not doing enough damage against the enemies that you are facing and you are also taking more damage from them so it really is about getting your blues purples whatever you're wearing as high as possible to be comfortable in the world tier you're in so for instance if i had all of my epic armors here let's just go past the legendary not even think about that all out around this level level 24 all at around 870 you would see a massive chunk of this armor disappear so my physical damage reduction would be less meaning i take more damage so what i should do here is i should go and mod this weapon and raise its level 229 which would raise its armor as well and then also mod anything that i want to do close range damage status power anomaly power the kind of concept and idea that they're going by is that every time you go up a world tier, they expect you to mod your weapons and items to make them better so that you can compete in the world tier you're in. So the problem here is nobody really wants to do that right now because, for instance, I have 133 titanium here. Some of these items to level up cost 30 titanium, 50 titanium if you want to do rarity. So materials are scarcer than they are available for you to mod every single time you go up a world tier so what's the answer for you to be comfortable on your current world tier and not struggle and you know just be good at the game quote unquote first and foremost you want to look at your class build so for me right now i'm doing a pure firepower build because i'm killing a captain a hundred times for a video so i want as much weapon damage as possible and here's a kind of nifty trick as you go along depending on what mods and abilities you want to use as you're going through specific areas you should always be changing your class as much as you want so if you're in an area where there's loads and loads of enemies and i mean a lot of enemies you know stuff like that you might want to go and get some extra health so put on extra health build all the way down as much as you can because that is the specific thing that you need during that fight then if you go to fight a boss of some kind and you are let's say you're on trickster and you're on um twisted rounds you then want firepower so you should be building into the firepower section for a singular boss where you're doing single target damage and then if you want kind of like survivability tank healing stuff you should maybe go half health half anomaly power so you're doing enough damage and things like that if i go through this section here if i was going around i would go this way anomaly power skill leech anomaly power and we'll be going through all these things until we get to this section where you're healed for 25 percent of your bleed damage now all of these extra little perks here give you more bleed and then you have mods for 
the Devastator that has bleed on it and can attach bleed to enemies. So you're constantly keeping yourself healed and alive. So it doesn't really matter about, you know, how much health you have as long as you are invincible through this build and you're doing everything you can. So every single engagement you should be going into, if you're struggling with it, you should really be looking at your class, your skill tree, and try and figure out a better way to approach the situation depending on what weapons and mods and stuff you have. The second thing I would say is to bring your world tier down to the lower one. So you can see right here, I'm on world tier 10. Very, very little bit into it. Now, if I go into my world tier and I go to world tier 9 and I set it at world tier 9, come out of it, you can see my world tier 9 is maxed, right? So, you know, you go around, you do some things, you kill some people, etc., etc. You do what you need to do at world tier 9. And then when you're ready, you can just go back. Oh, no, that's options. You could go back to world tier 10. And you'll see it doesn't start over again. I'm at the same amount that I was at. So say you're halfway through world tier 10 or, or whatever, and you want to go back down, make things a little bit easier, you can do because you won't lose that world tier 10. So why would you do that? Why would you go back down to world tier 9? Well, it makes the game a little bit easier, but what you want to do is build up your armors and weapons in a much more comfortable, easy way. So let's say you did a chest farm grind on world tier 9. Your armors, I mean, for me, they're a little bit lower, but you can see my level is 27 here. My epics are kind of a little bit better, but you can go do chest farms. You can go do enemy farms and such things like that. You can get your level higher. You can get more firepower and more armor by grinding a lower world tier so that when you move up to the next world tier, you are in a much better position to be able to fight comfortably in that world tier. And that's what you should be doing. If you have the materials, when you go into a new world tier, boost up some of your armors, some of your firepower. But if you don't want to do that, you need to be grinding to get better armors and better things that you need during that world tier. To do that, go back a world tier for about an hour or two hours or something, go and grind some chests, go and farm some enemies until you get higher level blues and purples. And just to showcase to you what I mean by this is when I hit world tier 10 recently, all of my weapons were around 2,500-ish on average. I had one that was 3,168. But because I'm now in world tier 10, they are dropping a little bit higher, 5,000. So that's specifically between these two shotguns, I'm doing 2,000 more damage when it comes to firepower. And then with my build, I've also got a hell of a lot more firepower. So, you know, you really have to look at improving your gear that's one of the main ways to stay alive and fight comfortably in your world tier it's not just about level it's not just about what world tier you're on you need to make sure you have the highest amount of armor and firepower that you can have at any one time and then when you have all that stuff mud everything that you want so if you're using um, twisted rounds make sure all of your armors have twisted rounds on if you're doing a variety build make sure you have mods on your armors that actually line up with those things and then really think about your um, class tree from engagement to engagement so if you're struggling with a whole bunch of enemies and you feel like you're dying too quick go the full health route just for that fight you can reset as many times as you want all the time you want and then if like i said if you're doing a single target bus like the vanguard captain what i'm doing for now go and go full you know full damage you know close range damage weapon damage bonus firepower all in this tree so you got to really think about what you're doing from fight to fight as well as have high enough armors and things and you can buy armors and stuff from the shops as well if you wish to some of them are really really good and really really powerful and that's about it really i hope this video helped i know it was a bit scatty it was a bit all over the place but i can't really think of any other way to you know explain this so if you're struggling with outriders i hope this helps hit the like button comment subscribe if you wish to thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome